हेलो एवरीवन इन दिस वीडियो विल बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट एवरेज स्पीड नो सपोज आई हैव अ रोड लाइक दिस एंड अ कार स्टार्ट्स फ्रॉम हियर एंड कवर्स द होल डिस्टेंस द फर्स्ट सेवेंटी फाइव किलोमीटर्स इट टेक्स थ्री आवर्स टू कवर एंड देन द नेक्स्ट ट्वेंटी किलोमीटर्स दैट इज दिस रोड द कार टेक्स लेट से ओनली वन आवर इट गोज वेरी फास्टली Now let's say this road, which is of seventy-five kilometers, again, the car takes around two hours to take this road. Now here we can see that the car has taken different intervals of time to cover different distances, which can be represented by this table. The first seventy-five kilometers, the car has taken three hours to cover. The next twenty kilometers, it has taken only one hour, and the next seventy-five kilometers, it has taken. Two hours to cover. Now, in this scenario, can you tell me what is the speed of this object? What can we tell as the speed of the object? It is quite complicated, and this is where we come across the concept of average speed. Now, the speed of this car, which has traveled a, uh, a path like this with varying speeds, we have to refer the average speed of this car. now the average speed is mathematically represented as total distance covered divided by total time taken now this is a formula of finding out the average speed of the car or any object now let's find out the average speed of the car that we have seen before the average speed as i said is the total distance divided by the total time So the total distance that the car has traveled was seventy-five kilometers plus twenty plus seventy-five, with the time three hours, one hour, and two hours respectively. Now let's apply the formula here, which equals one seventy kilometers by six hours, and this yields twenty-eight point three three kilometers per hour. Now this is what the average speed that we have found out. Now as I said. in the last video that the si unit of speed is meters per second so whenever we come across speed in any numerical problem the first thing that we need to do is to convert it from kilometers per hour to meters per second now let's do this in this case now we know that 1 kilometers equals 1000 meters and 1 hour equals 3600 seconds Now one kilometers per hour will therefore equal to one thousand meters divided by three thousand six hundred seconds, which yields five divided by eighteen meters per second. You can very well keep this formula in mind. That is one kilometers per hour equals five by eighteen meters per second, and apply it whenever required. Now let's apply this formula to this speed over here. So one kilometers per hour equals five by eighteen meters per second. So twenty eight point three three kilometers per hour will be equal to twenty eight point three three multiplied by five by eighteen, which equals seven point eight six nine meters per second. And this is the average speed of the car in meters per second. So from here we can say that on covering the whole distance, the car has been moving with an average speed of Seven point eight six nine meters per second. Now, this would essentially mean the same when we say that the car is moving through a straight path of distance one hundred and seventy kilometers with a speed of seven point eight six nine meters per second. So, this was all about average speed, and I hope this video was helpful to you. Thanks for watching. Tutorialspoint dot com. Simply easy learning.